I don't know. It was a good win for us. Uh, we have a big game coming up again uh, versus Green Bay. So it was really good to get a, this win before facing them. So. Is there a, a moment in the first half where all of a sudden you can tell that this is a team that if you played hard and all these other things that you're going to be fully capable of beating? I mean, I realize you you know, you know go in every game thinking that, but was there a point where you thought, okay, we're, we can handle these people? You know, I don't know if there was any one, one point, but I think kind of as we gained momentum, there was, you know, sort of this realization, epiphany maybe, that you know what, we're, we're good enough to play with them. And, and I think, yeah, the, the goal is to just come out and play hard every game. Um, and that was the goal for this game, and I, I think we executed that pretty well. Um, how important was it for you guys to have the home court advantage in this matchup? Any time that you can play on your home court and you have the fans that we do, I mean, being on the court and doing something good and the fans go crazy, I mean, or when we're not playing well and they go crazy again, I mean, that's a huge confidence booster. It's it's a great atmosphere to be in. Um, you know, what was kind of going through your guys' minds, you know, on that 15-0 run in the fourth quarter? How'd you keep your calm, you know, the weather, the storm? I think we knew the whole time that they were a really good team. We said that at halftime there's going to be a point where they go on a run. You know, they're not, they haven't gotten where they are by, by not being able to score the ball. Um, and I think we saw that in the fourth quarter. They, they scored it really well and we kind of had a dry spell. But, um, you know, at the same time we kept just coming together and saying we just got to withstand the storm. We just need to get stops. Um, and, and we did that down the stretch. You know, it wasn't always pretty, but still a win. Kira, can you talk a little bit about the contributions that Hannah has made. I would guess there's a few people out there who haven't really seen her play yet, and it seemed like today she was a, a huge part of this win. Yeah, um, <laughs> Hannah, Hannah's a game changer. She comes in, I mean, on the offensive end, is able to, you know, catch maybe some, some sketchy passes. She's got great hands um, inside. But then especially on the defensive end, um, whether it be helping in the lane or pulling down some monster rebounds, um, yeah, she was huge. And I, this is probably the, this is the first big game that you were, where you were on the court. Um, what, what were your impressions from the crowd and the environment? I think it's a huge, a huge advantage for us. Um, there's like during that dry spell, and Maddie hit that layup, and the crowd went crazy. And I think it just built on our momentum to keep playing hard defense. So you guys were all kind of, I guess, a part of program history when you think about it. How does it feel for you to be to make history like that? Um, it's a great accomplishment, I think. But I think there's a lot that we want to accomplish. So it's kind of enjoy the moment, but. Tomorrow we'll be focusing on the next game and what we want to focus on in the future. But I think so far this season we've kind of had ups and downs and um, practices have been pretty tough and we've really been focusing on our defense and tonight you could tell that it's starting to pay off. So it was a great win for us. Okay, well we have a special guest here tonight to start off. Would you start it off? Hi, my name's Alice Rapp. I'm and she was the coach, coach of the game tonight, tonight and she did a really good job. So in our program we do snaps for the for very successful situations, and you did a great job. So we're going to give you some tough questions. Are you ready for that? OK. Mm -hmm. All right. Well, certainly a great atmosphere, and our fans really did an incredible job of, of creating an environment that really fired our, our young ladies up and made us feel really comfortable. Um, I certainly give a lot of credit to Iowa State. I thought our young ladies did a nice job defensively to start the game, but as the game kept going on, Iowa State got more and more comfortable and really started to space the floor. And, and any time we got caught in a tough situation, maybe we gamble a little bit, they got by us and created opportunities at the rim or kicked it out for threes and really got the ball moving and scored very, very efficiently against us in the fourth quarter. At the same time, we were struggling to get the ball moving and create some offensive opportunities. But I think that's why Iowa State is where they are and why they're so good, because not only are they a great offensive team, but they're an outstanding defensive team. And this year, their opponents are scoring at a 31% clip and 23% clip from the arc. So, you know, thankfully, we had had an opportunity down the stretch to get some free throws and, and kind of secure the game. But really a fun atmosphere. Really proud of our young ladies for their effort 
during the course of that game, I thought our defensive intensity awareness was was really, really good. Questions? John, you look at the box score, what are the things that are that were crucial that needed to happen? Well, I think any time that you, you're you going to be in a situation to potentially upset a, a very talented and very good team and a very tough team, you, you need to win some some battles. I think the rebounding battle was a really, really big one for us. I thought Allison Arms did a great job kind of setting the tone for us offensively and got some offensive rebounds. I think she had three maybe in the first quarter even. Hannah Shervin came in the game and got some offensive rebounds for us. So I think that's one of them. I think the, the next one is field goal percentage defense for us to hold our teams under 38%. It is a goal for us. They were at 37%. And that's something that's very challenging to do against Iowa State. And then I think the third one is probably, you know, we shot the ball well from the arc. And that's really important. If you're going to face a really good team, you're going to have to be able to stretch the floor. Um, how crucial was it to be able to hold, you know, Bridget Carlton to only 14 points tonight? Well, Bridget Carlton is an outstanding player and someone who's going to be playing, you know, is playing at the highest level now and is going to continue doing that in the WNBA and is just someone who can hurt you in so many ways because she can attack the rim, she can post up, you know, she can space the floor, she shoots it well from the arc. I thought our players did a nice job of having a very good awareness of of trying to keep her her touches limited and make them challenged. Last year at their place, down the stretch, she really got to the rim against us and and made us pay for that. So I thought our awareness was was better for most parts of the game. I thought in the end they they started to space us a little bit more and get by us. But um, I thought for the most part we did a really nice job. What are your um, thoughts on like the defensive stand late in the fourth quarter? You know, Iowa State went, a, went on a big run. In the fourth quarter, how do you feel about your team's defensive stand towards the end there? Well, I thought we it got yeah, I think it got cut to three, and there were some scenarios. There's some um, advance the ball scenarios, and we need to find ways to get stops. And you know, I think our our coaches, and Jason did, Jeske, did a great job of making us aware and putting us in the right situations and understanding kind of some of the looks that they may be going after. Uh, I thought our our intensity and our awareness at that point in time was absolutely. Yeah, incredible and amazing. I thought our young kid, our young ladies, finished it with a rebound scenario, and that's how we got to the free throw line. And ultimately, that's a, a toughness battle that we won in that situation. Um, do you kind of look at this? As, I know it's one game at a time stuff, but the, this you have you have two top teams coming in here, your own gym. Uh, did you look at this? And it's halfway done now, but as kind of an opportunity for your team to. Show what it can really do. Well, it's what we what we've talked about as a as a team as a program is it is a really special opportunity to have you know a, a Big Twelve perennial a women's basketball perennial powerhouse to come in to the SESC and I think sometimes you can get to the point where you really press to make things happen. So you know our our message is you really have to play and you have to battle, but you also have to be comfortable at the same time and that's really tough to do against great teams and I thought our, our young ladies did that and played with they just had a lot of fun and, and I thought our fans helped us create that environment that was fun. Um, they played to your hand most of the game was there a certain point where you felt that or maybe your girls felt that um, they could you know be able to beat this team? Yeah I'm not sure exactly when that took place I you know I, I think our our intent is to certainly go out and compete with with whoever we play against and, and try to put our players in the right situations. And I, th I thought when Kira picked up her third foul and Kira was guarding Bridget Carlton and Kira picked up her third foul and we put Monica in and Monica was doing a pretty good job. And then, you know, Bridget Carlton smart and really attacked and got into us and then Monica picked up her fourth foul and then Chloe rotated and Chloe guarded her. So just the, I think the awareness of multiple players that that they put themselves in, in good situations to at least be in, a, in an opportunity to get an, a defensive stance was important for us. Um, so what are you looking forward to to Saturday's matchup with Green Bay, who's one of the better mid-major schools consistently? Well, it, Green Bay is. Green Bay is an incredible opponent, someone who you know, really separates themselves from the rest of really the country by the way that they defend. You know, and, and they've been the number one team in the country defensively. And to, to do that's unbelievable. Out of 349 teams, to be able to do that is just absolutely remarkable. So to have an opponent that can that will come in here and really, 
you know, teach us some different things. And we really struggled offensively during stretches of the end of this game, so we've got to get better in a hurry. At the same time, they can also space the floor. They've got some post kids that can really post up and score, perimeter kids that can shoot it, space, space the floor. You know, but I would say overall what Green Bay does better than – I think anybody's, they just play with incredible toughness. They do. They, they play with, with, without fear. They just really, really get after it. And so I have a lot of respect for what they've done.